So you hear the clinking in your washing machine. Sounds like one of your kids left some coins in their pockets. Well, you're going to destroy some parts if you don't get it out. And then these wash machines, it's cool, let's get some light in here. Plastic pieces will get destroyed. These things will start leaking. You get water all over your floor. I'll show you how to get these out. It's pretty easy. All you got to do is move this clamp. Move this clamp. We don't actually remove them. We'll squeeze them, a pair of pliers, slide them up. And then there's a couple little bolts around here. We'll get those out. Once we have this whole piece out, there's some Phillips zip screws around the edge. We'll separate this piece from this. The coin's usually right inside of here. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. I just use a pair of old channel locks. You see some of my blacksmith and stuff. You've seen these things used a bunch of times, the old ace ones. I end up making um, my own tongs instead of using these. But now I use these for all sorts of other stuff, like this. tough to do with one hand, but squeeze and pinch, slide it up, see if we can get this one too. It's actually easier to see through the on the camera than getting down underneath this I'm a little tight on space. Yeah, that's probably far enough. Let's do it again. All we gotta do is make sure that the plastic piece that goes through this has enough rubber loose on it so we can slide the thing off. And honestly, feeling it right here feels like we gotta go just a little bit further. Looks like I'm catching on the underside a little bit. this back and forth, get it loose. We're getting the bolts out and then pulling the thing out. It's going to be easier, so let's do that. All right, get these out. Use an 8 millimeter or a 5 16 You can use whatever number of tools you have. They usually work pretty well. Tidy lefty loosey kids. That one. There's another one down here. Pull this one off. Just plastic. Remember when you're tightening this, this up later. And it's not really cranking too hard. It is just plastic. Let me go ahead and get these off the rest of the way. So I've got them out. What we're going to do is make sure we pull it and get the hoses, but there's still this little guy down here. And this can flip forward. I've showed this on another video that it's tough to do with one hand. Oh, I got it. I just pulled straight out. Actually, a lot easier than I remember. And these are usually a pain to get out with one hand. little water coming out of the thing, so I have a towel ready. <laughs> Boom. There it is. Now, Phillips tip screwdriver. Get 
these guys out so we can separate the plastic bit. Usually you can shake it and get it out, but if you can't, then you just take those off. This plastic end comes right off. Pretty easy. Nothing special. No extra brackets or anything. Again, it's plastic on screws. You can tell how to get this thing back together. Just as easy as it came out. Don't call a repairman. You can do this yourself. The only part that's actually hard about this is if you're not large in stature, is trying to get the wash machine on its face. Set down a towel. Make sure it's unplugged. The hoses are out. That's out of the wall. Make sure you remember which one goes where if it's not labeled. Not hard to do. Save yourself some money. Just do it yourself. It's easy. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, you may have noticed that there is no commercials, no banners, nothing on the little bottom that says click here, because um, I don't make money off of YouTube. I don't make these videos for YouTube. I make these videos for you. You watching there on your phone, tablet, computer, whatever it is, to help you. And if you find anything that, that I'm helping you with but you still got a question, put it down below. I'm real good at answering them. If you think of something that's completely unrelated and you still need help with trying to fix it or solve the problem or heck, you're changing the radio in your sports car and you say, hey man, I don't understand what it is that I need to do. Why do I need this type of gas in this car? Or, or why does it need to be a certain mixture of coolant and water? Why can't I just use water? Or, or whatever the heck the question is that comes with fixing or you say you want to recycle something, you want to turn a bottle in a string and how to do all sorts of crazy stuff. Ask the question below, and, and if it's if it's got enough people that want to see it, I'll make a video for it to help you guys out. But um, if you want to help me out, there's a link to the bottom to buy me a beer. I, I don't ask for much. It can be domestic. It's fine. It's all good. Thanks for watching.